What's up everybody and welcome to 3D Printing News. My name is Mike and every single Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we recap your 3D Printing News of the week that I found interesting. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So we had tons of reveals this week. More specifically, there was many different multi-material systems that came out, right? Or at least they were teased. I guess they didn't come out. There was two of them specifically. But first, let's go ahead and cover Bamboo Labs' newest printer, the H2S. The H2S was officially announced at 340 by 320 by 340 build plate. It is Bamboo Labs' biggest and largest 3D printer to date. So if you're looking for just a simple, bigger Bamboo Lab printer, this is it. It did launch at a price of $1,249, also $1,500 for the combo and $2,099 for the laser version. Most notably, one of the cuts they made from this printer to get it down in cost is that the 40 watt laser is not supported on the H2S like it is on the H2D. It also does not have windows on the H2S. Um, those are two more like specific cuts that I found with it. Outside of that, I'm sure there's more internals, things like that, that I'm not remembering off the top of my head that were also cut. I did go ahead and pick up the $1,500 combo edition, which does arrive today since I'm recording this on Thursday. One more notable thing is it actually does have upgraded motors. So it's not your traditional A1 tool head. They did actually make some more upgrades to that as well, which I would hope they did since it costs basically a thousand dollars more than that printer i hope it had a few more upgrades but it's essentially a stripped down version of the h2d and quite a bit stripped down but that wasn't the exciting news of this week bamboo lab also announced that they were coming out with the h2c so they said in the art of transparency we want to make sure that you guys are aware that we're releasing another 3d printer later this year they did confirm that this printer is coming in q4 of 2025 essentially what it is is a new printer it's in their H series. So they've been releasing everything in the H series hybrid. So I'm assuming this comes with the laser. It comes with the cutter, everything like that. Or you can add those options. Basically, it doesn't come with those. But what is it? It's equipped with their new Vortex system. What is the Vortex system? It is a six hot end swapping system. Essentially, you have the tool head on the right hand side of the H2D, for example, and it swaps out the nozzles up to six different nozzles on the other side. This is their answer to filament waste. Essentially, they're saying you no longer have to purge. So you can use up to seven different materials without purging. And you can also print in up to 24 different colors if you're okay with some purging waste. Of course, a lot of people are speculating that instead of what Bamboo Lab was saying to be transparent, they're saying they're coming out with this printer. They said it's to stop the Snapmaker U1 in its tracks. Also, the Prusa XL is its competitor. Prusa did announce something as well we'll talk about later in the video. But with that being said, people are saying, hey, look, Bamboo Lab did not do this for the consumer. They did it, you know, come on, we got to stop the Snapmaker, which the Snapmaker is still continuing. They have gained quite a few backers since this was announced. Look, there are two different realms of 3D printers, guys. One's a tool head swapping system and the other is, you know, your hot end swapping. So what will the future be? We don't know. But I do think it was a little bit of both. They wanted to be transparent with their customers as well as, hey, let us know this is coming and maybe if you don't want the snap maker you don't buy it also as well it was confirmed that this is going to have a build plate size of 330 by 320 by 325 or at least that was what was shown in the video and it's also going to utilize bamboo labs ams system do you need two AMSs to actually utilize the full capability of this 3d printer being seven different materials well, time will tell. Maybe they're developing a new system that comes standard with the 3D printer in the combo version, maybe. I mean, we don't know until Bamboo Lab answers these questions. I think it's kind of, I personally think they're developing a different type of system that will allow the full capability right out of the box, but we just don't know because they showcased it with the AMS, but maybe they didn't want to show too much. They did state they were also working on this since back in 2023, and it was actually completed earlier this year, at least the hardware portion of it, but they didn't want to release it because the software was not up to snuff, which this is again, something that too many 3D print companies do not do. They need to stop using us as beta testers. And you know what? Normally Bamboo Lab has a pretty smooth launch with all things considered. Of course, they cannot avoid everything because when you start getting it in the hand of thousands of users, things are bound to come up. But for the most part, Bamboo Lab has some pretty good launches and I would trust them more than probably any other company 
to release something pretty smoothly. They did come up with a new hot end also as well. You guys can check it out on their page. Essentially, it has some sort of wireless chip in it. Now, what is the price of this thing? They didn't really say, right? And again, real quick, if you want to check out more about this, check it out in the, the video down below to Bamboo Labs. Uh, video they posted they do a better job explaining it than me <laughs> like i'm probably missing a lot of stuff right they came out they redesigned a nozzle for this specifically that's pretty cool so again just check it out down below but what is the price of this thing i'm guessing it comes in around 2500 they did also mention you can upgrade the h series printers i'm gonna guess the h2d upgrade comes in around 500 because i looked at the current bed the heated bed because it has a smaller heated bed so the H2C has a smaller heated bed, so you're gonna need a new bed to give it room for that Vortex system to be installed. And then also it's six nozzles in that Vortex system, plus the Vortex system itself, I think they can get it down to $500, maybe $600. What is it gonna to cost to upgrade the H2S? That's a little more tricky. I think it's gonna be $1,000 plus. I don't think it's really worth it, honestly, to upgrade the H2S. You're better off waiting and just buying the H2C when it comes out because, again, I think the H2C is going to launch at $2,500 and I think it's going to include whatever system you need to use up to those six or seven different materials. I think it's so foolish to just say, here's the H2C, we're going to ship it bare bones. I guess maybe that makes sense because if it's only utilizing AMSs and you already have enough AMSs, that would make sense, but like, I think it's, I think they're gonna ship it with some sort of differences. We'll see. Again, if it utilizes AMSs, I think whatever price it comes out with, it's going to include an AMS. I don't think you're gonna be able to buy this one bare bones, but ah, I guess we just don't know, guys. This is all speculation. But on top of this, Prusa revealed that they are working with Bontech, which they didn't initially say, but Bontech has now confirmed that they're working with Bontech in the index to go ahead and release that on the core one. How much is that gonna cost? It's all gonna be expensive, guys. Like, we're all just gonna be broke going into the holiday season because I guarantee you Bamboo Lab and Prusa try to get this out before the end of the year with Bontech coming out in November, the Bontech product coming out in November, and I'm guessing that Bamboo Lab comes out with this at the end of October, beginning of November to hit all those Christmas sales. Like, like you can't tell me that they don't wanna be in stock before all of that happens. And even now, speaking of this, the H2S was still in stock. So they manufactured a ton of these guys. Like, I, and they've had, they said the H2C hardware done since like earlier in the year. I'm assuming they've been pumping these out like hotcakes. Like it's, it's crazy. But again, Prusa confirmed this. I, I think they just wanted to take away some of the glory from Bamboo Lab, just like Bamboo Lab wanted to take it away from Snapmaker in the art of transparency though. But it's an exciting time. And I think some of you guys have really sold me on the multi-material printing aspects of a lot of this stuff. And I'm getting more and more excited to do these kind of things. We'll see if I actually buy one of these systems it's gonna be hard for me to justify the price since I don't do that much multicolored, but you guys are getting more, me more excited on the multi-material aspect of it and potentials. But with that being said, guys, that's really pretty much it, right? The Creality DK2, I don't even think it's worth like talking about right now. Like yeah, it actually officially came out and launched, but if you guys want discounts on that, TikTok is your place though. They have been offering the K2 Plus if you're interested in that for a lot cheaper on TikTok Lives. Um, I think I've seen it around 1150, 1160. It's getting pretty down there in price, even that's for the combo. But outside of that, guys, what do you guys think of all of this news? I greatly appreciate it. We didn't really have that much, but it was exciting stuff to talk about. All this multicolored different stuff coming out, speculation. I made a ton of speculation in this video. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm really excited to see what's to come of all this stuff, guys. But, um, and I'm also excited for my H2S. I think it, it, it just arrived. But outside of that, I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below what you guys think of all of this craziness. Yeah, and three pretty news. Every Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and every Tuesday we have a discussion video talking about sales or something 3D printing every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time as well. Again, guys, I hope you enjoy your weekend if you're watching this on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, and have a wonderful rest of your day.